This month's Sailing Magazine podcast is brought to you by Intensity Sales. If you're a small boat sailor, you need to check out the amazing selection of sails and gear over at IntensitySales.com. Everything you need for lasers, 420s, opties, sunfish, zumas, force fives, check all of them out at IntensitySales.com. An incredible supply of fine gear. Ordering quality parts and supplies securely online is easy. They offer a big selection of cordage as well as wetsuits, race committee supplies, just about everything you need. Making small boat sailing affordable is their goal. So if you run a youth or collegiate program, or just need to keep your small boat in good shape, you need to sail with intensity. Quality sails and gear at affordable prices. IntensitySales.com It was the worst drought on record in Oklahoma since the Great Depression. But that did not wither the enthusiasm or passion of these new collegiate sailors. Central Oklahoma is home to two relatively new collegiate sailing programs. Volunteer coaches at Oklahoma City University and the University of Central Oklahoma are turning neophytes and experienced sailors into real competitors. There's been a program, uh, Intercollegiate Sailing Association, uh, for the central part of the United States for a number of years. Oklahoma started out with OU, uh, and then we had a little bit uh, from UCO a couple years back, and then Oklahoma City University started their team three years ago. We are actually beginning our third season right now. Oklahoma City has one of the finest, best kept secrets in the nation, maybe the world, and that's Lake Hefner. Lake Hefner is a high altitude lake, not much to stop the wind except for barbed wire. The appeal is it's windy all the time. There's a reason in that wonderful state song of the wind comes sweeping down the plains, and uh, that's the beauty of it. Even though we are ponds or puddle sailors as some people like to call us, it's still a great sailing experience and we learn a lot. They come from all over the United States. I have students from all over the world. I have uh, one of my top-notch female sailors is a sophomore this year. She's from Russia. I have people from scattered from East Coast to West Coast, and most of them have never been at the tiller before. They've never been on a sailboat. And you find that a lot in collegiate sailing in the central part of the United States. They get out here, they get their experience as a freshman and work through it for four years. And Oklahoma City Boat Club is the real force behind that. Uh, we use the U.S. sailing curriculum uh, put them through the uh, level one dinghy course, small boat course. Yeah, I am part of a college team. Beginners come out and sail what we call Picos, which is the boat we have right here. And it's just a much smaller boat, a plastic boat, a lot safer, it can't get ruined. But once we've practiced a bit on Picos and learned what um, some of the proper techniques and stuff, we move up to 420s. That's a two-person boat. Um, you have a helmsman and a crew member. And that's what we sail regattas in, collegiate regattas, is our 420s. Just this past summer, coaches have introduced sailing to students and fast-tracked them into the competitive world of intercollegiate racing. Uh, I mean, it definitely makes some of the sailing interesting, you know, whenever you're sending kids that, you know, have only sailed a couple times out to you know, sail in some fairly heavy air that we can get in Oklahoma. But it, it does add, you know, a lot of fun to it because you are teaching someone completely new and, you know, you get to watch them develop. I mean, that's been fun just in a couple of months I've been helping. I've got to watch several people go from having trouble just rigging the boat to winning races. I'm not athletic and so for me to do something I need something where you have to use your brain as well because I don't have all like the muscles to do just amazing feats or like weights and things like that so to have something where I could where you just have to be completely focused on what you're doing was really nice to be able to go out and just pay attention to what's going on around you and sail with a couple of other people was really fun too because you get to make new friends and you get to meet all the people at the boathouse and it's just fun. This team is great. We're just starting out. I think we started last year and um, I'm just walking in as a new guy and just trying to help out where I can. I love this sport. Anytime we can get somebody new out on the water to enjoy a new lifestyle, something new, new experiences, that's what I'm all about. But not all these student sailors limit their sailing to the Great Plains. 
the Oklahoma City University took uh, a team of 10 students to uh, Lorient, France this last April. Uh, competed against 175 schools from 10 foreign nations in a coastal regatta. Our guys did phenomenally well. They did tactics, they did helm, skipper, every position on the boat were students. And that was a big experience for them. And uh, we placed in the top third of the um, foreign teams that were there, which were outside of France. And they let me know they want to go back this year and they expect to do a lot better. I'm not competitive by nature whatsoever. I think once you're out there and you know the rules, it just comes. Like, you want to be top, you know what I mean? Like, you just don't want to come in last. And the girl that I sail with is super competitive. So, to have us on the boat together is a lot of fun. Unlike some coastal schools, sailing programs in this region rarely get media attention or even proper funding. That makes little difference to these passionate young sailors. Yeah, it would be great to have the budget that those schools have, you know, where you can give kids scholarships and things. But I think it, you know, it, you end up with a more passionate sailor, you know, without the funding. You, you know, these kids are having to raise all the money themselves, and it's fun to watch. I wish we had the media attention and the money, but I think the kids we get out of a program like this end up being better sailors because they learn a, you know, a full spectrum of skills out of this. We get to travel to several different um, lakes, so it's the wind and the conditions are different at every lake, and we have several um, collegiate teams that we race against pretty often. It's pretty good because you get to see somewhat of the same people, but you have competition that's steadily um, building your team as well. We go to um, College Station a lot, for Texas A&M regattas and sometimes Tulane might come and we, we usually do see A&M often. We went to the Aggie Fall last year, um, you know, Tina, that was her first regatta and um, it was me and another senior and then pretty much just all newbies, new young sailors who had just sailed us for about a month. We placed, I want to say, fifth or sixth overall um, and then a year later when we went back to Aggie Fall this past um, in October, um, we actually placed second and we were beating up on the likes of U University of Texas, U College Station, we beat a team from a and Galveston, we beat OSU. These young kids are you know, showing great and very old experience. It's taught me a lot about like independence because when you're out on the water you have to know what you're doing and you have to be like certain and you have to make decisions and you have to stick with your decisions. And so that's a big deal. And then also just with people, like when you're out on the water, you need to have like open communication and you need to be able to talk to each other. And so it's definitely helped in those areas. Sailing is a self-policing sport. And you see, you know, we've had several kids where they made a foul at the beginning of the season and didn't take their penalty, you know, because no one protested them. But you know, just a few months in, we've taught them that, you know, that's not the acceptable thing to do. And I mean, you know, these, they've matured as sailors and as people, you know, learning that they have to take responsibility for things even if you know, there's no one around to see it. Sailing is not going to be going away here in Oklahoma anytime soon. We really feel that we're going to have more schools participating. This district spans Kansas, Oklahoma, Colorado, Lower Missouri, Arkansas, Texas, Mississippi, Louisiana, Lower Alabama, and part of Florida. We're the largest district in the ICSA. There's a lot of good competitors that come out of here. There's going to be a lot more. So uh, all the East Coast and West Coast schools, watch out. We're coming after you.